Welcome to the ECDL Word Processing Module, section 1.1.4. Here we're asked to save a document as a different file type, such as a text file, or rich text format, or even a, a template. We're also asked to think about specific file extensions and version numbers. So here we have a Microsoft Word document. If we save this document the usual way, so we'll go to File, Save As, and I'll save this to the desktop. What you will uh, have available to you, apart from the location, will simply be the file name. That's what you normally think of, those two things. The location, where are you saving it, and what are you going to be calling it. However, um, there's something else, a third thing which we need to think about, and that's the file type. Now you see down here we have Save As Type. Now normally this will say Word document, because when you produce a document in Word, that's what you'll normally want to save it as. However, click on that link and you'll see a drop-down list of a range of other options we have. Now one of these options is Word template. Now that's slightly different from a Word document. You could set up a template such as a, a letter, a CV, a poster, a flyer, a report, whatever it might be, and you get the table set up correctly, you get the uh, background, you get uh, borders, text, fonts, styles, colors, all of that sort of thing uh, that you will want to reuse over and over again to, to put fresh content into it, but without changing the overall layout or appearance. So we could save this as a Word template, where we to then open that template and use it uh, to create a new document. When we save that document, it'll ask us to save it as a document. So it'll preserve the template, which will always be available for you unless you specifically want to go in and edit the template. Excuse me. So that's one option. We also have other uh, formats here, such as uh, PDF, which was the Adobe uh, Acrobat Reader format. Uh, this is a format which will allow us to save our document to um, a file which will be non-editable, so other people can't edit that document anymore. Uh, but it can be viewed by anyone uh, without them having to have Microsoft Word or indeed any other word processor installed. And the document will look exactly as it does on your screen. Uh, we've also got rich text format. This will preserve the formatting of your document and the overall appearance of it so that it can be edited and viewed using any other word processing program. So if somebody doesn't have Word installed, uh, they have a different word processor, that's a good format to use. And the final one we need to think about here is the plain text. And the plain text document is the sort of thing that you could create in something as simple as Notepad. So there'll be no formatting. Uh, no tables, no colours, no pictures, nothing like that, just the basic plain text. So that's how to change the format of a document. I'll save this as a Word document, and then I'm going to go back into here and go to File, Save As. We'll save it in the same location, uh, but I'm going to update this so that I now have version 2. I haven't made any changes to this document, but pretend that we have. Um, to change the version, simply add version 2, or v2, or whatever format you prefer to use. Having different versions of a document means that each time you save your document and you change the version number, you'll effectively be creating a copy of that document. And you'll end up with several copies of that document. The first one will be the uh, original one before you made any changes to it. Uh, and then each subsequent document will show the changes you made since the previous one. So you'll end up with lots of different documents with different versions on. If you make a complete hash of something and you realize earlier on you deleted something you didn't mean to, uh, then you can go back to a previous version and find that one. So saving it as different versions is as easy as changing the file name. Uh, the last thing we need to think about is the file extension. Now you don't normally get to see the file extension. Uh, you can view it, uh, but if I was to type a full stop after this file name, you'll see that the little drop-down prompt shows the letters DOCX. 
after the file name. That's what we call a file extension. And a file extension is more for the computer to use than for you. What those letters tell the computer is what program to use to open this particular document. So if you were to go into uh, your own documents folder and you were to find a document that you had previously created in Word and you double click it, you assume and expect that that will automatically open in Microsoft Word and it will do. But how does the computer know to open that particular file with that particular program? Well, it's these three letters, three or four letters that are just added to the end of your file name which tell the computer which program to use. So .docx will tell it to open it in Microsoft Word. If we were to change this uh, format to say plain text, so I'm just going to remove that dot there. So I've changed the file type now to plain text. I've kept the file name the same and I click save. OK, we'll just click OK and accept that. Uh, so we'll see on the desktop now I have two copies of that file. This one, which you can see has the Microsoft Word icon, and this one, same file name, same file. But you can see the icon is a notepad file. And if I double click that, it opens in notepad, not in Microsoft Word. So what we've done there is to change the way we save the file using a specific file extension. So if I press the dot button now, you can see we have two versions of this file. One that was saved as a Word document with .docx after it, and one that was saved as a text document, a plain text document, that has .txt after it. So what you really need to remember here uh, is that if you're saving it as a different file type, you'll be told what file type to use. So it'll tell you whether it's going to be a Word document, a rich text document, a plain text document, and so forth, or even a Microsoft Word template. If it talks about specific file extensions, then just remember that the .docx is a Word file, RTF is rich text format, and TXT, the word text without the E in it, is a plain text format. And of course, finally, version number simply means change the file name or add to the file name the version and the number that you're up to. Your final version of any document should be called final version, or should have the version number removed completely.